Okay, this says find the slope of the line containing the given points, and you need the formula for the slope, which is m equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1, where x sub 1, y sub 1, and x sub 2, y sub 2 are any two points on the line. And they gave me two points, all right? And when I'm looking at this, <clears throat> this right here, that is the x coordinate of the first point they gave me. So that would be x sub 1. And then this, eh, oot, there we go. Yellow, there we go. This is the y coordinate of the first point. And so that would go right there. And then this is the x-coordinate of the second point, which would go right there. And this is the y-coordinate of the second point, which would go right there. So that's how I'm going to plug these things in. So it's going to be 7 minus the negative 6 over negative 4 minus the negative 7. I hope you see that I did that. Um, the 7 goes here, and then you've got this minus sign. That's this minus sign right there. And then it's minus the um, y sub 1, which is all of negative 6. So you're subtracting a negative on that. Well, subtracting a negative is the same thing as adding a positive. And of course, 7 plus 6, that turns out to be 13 for my numerator. And then in the denominator, it is negative 4. And of course, you've got this subtraction sign right here. That's this subtraction sign right there. So it's minus the um, x sub 1, which is all of negative 7. I didn't make that negative very big. There you go. Now here you're subtracting a negative, so that's the same thing as adding a positive. And when you add negative 4 to a positive 7, you get 3. And of course, 13 over 3 cannot be reduced, so you're going to leave it as 13 thirds. Slope is always the change in y over the change in x. Um, that little triangle is actually the Greek letter delta, which means change. So answers to slope are always in the form of a fraction. It can be a proper fraction or it can be an improper fraction, but there should always be a numerator and a denominator. Um, do not change it to a mixed number because it's the change. It's how much you change vertically over how much you change horizontally. So 13 over 7 would be the answer. And that is number 14.